Hey guys, Leg here from the inside of my freshly finished sauna. I uh, just did a video showing you guys the whole overview of it, how everything looks and it's been done. Uh, I do have links in the description below to all the steps of building this, meaning all the way from the ground up, doing the base to finishing the roof and everything in between. But this video is specifically to talk about breaking in your freshly finished sauna. So regardless of what kind of sauna you assembled or built yourself like me in this case, uh, you should break it in. Whatever the process they tell you to follow, follow it. Uh, for my build, this is the process I'm using. I'm not saying this is necessarily what you should use, but you should kind of use some kind of heating up process to break everything in, all the fresh wood you're using and so on. Stove itself and the chimney should have been already broken in before you actually finish your sauna, I meaning it should have been done in exposed air because the fumes from the paint and everything burning off, you know, will be coming off. You want to make sure you did that. That's been done. All we have left now is breaking the sauna itself, get all this wood kind of treated, getting used to the heat, right? So let me start the oven up. We'll get this up to temperature. Probably get it up to like maybe 140, 150 for the first round. We'll air it out, see how everything's going, and let's see how hot we can get it. I did already use this sauna, I'm not gonna lie. You know, the video, this build's been done for a few weeks now, but I'm catching up with the videos. But I still wanna show you guys the process. So, you know, whatever hard earned money you spent and time building your project, you don't ruin it by like, you know, damaging the wood or whatever. My process worked, everything's fine. So now I'll share it with you guys. So the stove I'm using, you have the inside and outside feet as I mentioned, filled it up with wood. Let's light it up and show you guys how it looks and how it performs. Here's the view of the outside. There's the stove feed. I already got it filled up with wood. Got plenty of wood left over from the build, so it's all nice fresh dry wood. So I'm just gonna hit it with a tor torch and light it up. And you don't have to open the door on the inside, but you should have the vent on the bottom cracked open. But as you see, the chimney is working perfectly. Look, it already sucking all the smoke and fire up. So we'll add more wood, get this going, and let's see what the temperature gets us. Okay, so we have our fire going now. It's looking good. And now we're gonna give it about a half an hour or so. Let this room heat up a little bit. Keep the door closed. And we'll check back on and see what's the temperature at. And we'll go from Okay, so round one, we we'll give it about half an hour. Heated the room up. Should be about 140-ish or so. We are at actually on 160. Okay, which is fine. So at this point, you know, we got a good fire going. I'm gonna have to add more wood. But now, this is round one of running it. We're gonna basically air it out. So I'm gonna open my door up and for a few minutes, leave it open. Maybe give it some swings as well. You wanna air the room out. Um, I'm gonna let it heat up to about 160 again. Or if you didn't get it the first time, heat it up to 160 again. Air it out again. I'll do 180 and I'll do it one more time. And then, technically you might be okay. Smell your sauna, see how you know it's reacting to everything. Uh, be the judge of your own setup. But after that, I'll get it up over 200 and give it a final air out and then just let it heat up once again till the fire dies, let it be, and we should be good. But let's wait and see. Alrighty, give it another 20 minutes or so. Pretty hot in here again. We are at 180 now. So one thing again, I'm gonna do the whole air out thing. And then we will do it one more time. And we should be good for the breaking in. And we give it another about 25 minutes, 30 minutes or so. Add a little more wood as well. So get a nice fire going. Gotta add more though. And we are. 190 at this point 
So in about an hour or so, 190 is pretty impressive. Let's keep it going. Keep it another 15, 20 minutes, guys. And yeah, I think we have plenty enough. One final air out. I'm gonna give it a good air for a few minutes. Let all this cool off again, kind of air out the air. And then we can do the final loading of the oven and just let it burn out and finish, open up for the night, let it complete air out overnight, and we'll be good. So guys, I'm doing the final air out. Temperature actually got up to almost 240. So yeah, that's a little high for breaking in period. You know, I wanted to get up to like 2, 220. But anyway, air it out one more time. Once you do that, you can just let your stove run out, keep it closed, let it stay warm. And once it burns out, just open the door, let everything air out, make sure this door is open, a window, whatever you have, if that's the case, and you're technically broken your sauna. Your next run you're gonna do, heat up your stove, air it out the first time, and then just use it as normal, and you guys should be all set. Appreciate you guys watching. Any questions, let me know, check out the build, subscribe, follow, come back for lots more how-to videos. Thank you guys. So guys, I figure since I'm doing the video for you, might as well get a session in, since it's nice and hot in here. But I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe, follow, any questions, let me know. Thank you guys. When you're all done, just make sure to fully air it out. And you are all set.